Experts in Japan are preparing to dig for more answers in regards to safety at some of the country's nuclear power plants. They're trying to assess the threat of fault lines running below the facilities. The Japanese government toughened safety standards following last year's accident at Fukushima Daiichi. All of Japan's operating commercial reactors went offline in the months after the March 2011 disaster. Then last July, the Prime Minister approved the restart of the two units at the Oi plant in Fukui Prefecture. Regulators assured they would be able to withstand a major earthquake or tsunami. But the possible presence of an active fault directly beneath the plant has raised doubts about the reactors. We're taking a closer look at this threat from below in our latest installment of Nuclear Watch. For more details, we're joined by NHK World's Hajime Okada, who's been following this story. So, Hajime, what is defined, first of all, an active fault, and how does it constitute a threat to the OE nuclear plant? The term active fault refers to faults that have already moved several times in the past and that are likely to move again. This could trigger an earthquake and cause damage in surrounding areas. The OE nuclear plant sits on a fault called F6. The fracture runs across critical pipes that are meant to cool the reactors. The plant's operator, Kansai Electric Power Company, has continuously maintained that F6 is not an active fault, an assessment initially backed by the government. But inspections after the March 11th accident have led some experts to conclude that the fault may be active after all. That is why Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority, the NRA, sent a team to inspect the plant. Didn't the utility or the government know about the presence of a fault at the time of the plant's construction? They did. The fault was examined in 1985, before the construction of Units 3 and 4. There are several factors that explain why the issue wasn't debated at the time. Geologists didn't have the same level of understanding about seismic faults and the standards to define whether a fault is active or not were different. Another important factor is that before the Fukushima accident, the government depended too much on the plant operator's own assessment. Now, how widespread is this problem? There are 17 commercial nuclear plants in Japan and one major research reactor. The NRA has ordered geological surveys at six sites, including OI. Experts will conduct another inspection at the Tsuruga plant on Saturday. The agency is drafting new standards of earthquake resistance based on the lessons from March 11th. So, it's very likely that surveys will be extended to all existing plants. What can we expect in the months ahead? Right now, the operator of the OE plant is conducting an additional survey ordered by the NRA. Inspectors could make another visit as early as next month. Government regulations prohibit the construction of critical nuclear infrastructure directly above active faults. This means that if the fault beneath OE is deemed to be active, plant cannot stay online. The chairman of the NRA says he is ready to shut down the reactors if there is any indication that the fault is active. Kansai Electric says the survey will be a long process, meaning this debate could go on for quite some time. The question now is whether the NRA decides to set a clear deadline to prevent the operator from dragging its feet. All right, thanks very much. That was NHK World's Hajime Okada. Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority is examining fissures beneath the Tsuruga nuclear power plant on the Sea of Japan coast. Officials want to determine whether the facility is vulnerable to earthquakes. NRA official Kunihiko Shimazaki and four scientists are visiting the nuclear facility over the weekend. They have so far confirmed that an active fault runs beneath the Tsuruga nuclear compound about 250 meters from the number one and two reactors. 
The fault is believed to have last moved around 4,000 years ago. Officials are studying the relationship between the active fault and a fissure directly under the number 2 reactor. My impression is that the fault under the plant is very active. It is unusual for a nuclear plant to have such a fault running directly underneath it. National guidelines prohibit the operation of a nuclear facility located near an active fault line. If it is determined that the fissure under the reactor could move with the active fault, the nuclear plant will, be not, uh, will not be allowed to restart. It would then have to be decommissioned. The Japanese government toughened safety standards following last year's accident at Fukushima Daiichi. All of Japan's operating commercial reactors went offline for safety inspections after the March 2011 disaster. Then, last July, the Prime Minister approved the restart of two reactors at the Oi plant in Fukui Prefecture. However, the possible presence of an active fault beneath the Oi plant has raised safety concerns about operating the two reactors.